everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new here hello 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 today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my natural knotless braids with beads I thought the style was super cute and I wanted to share it with you guys so stay tuned and keep watching so while I was doing this style the picture that my client sent me the girl had larger parts and a smaller braid so that's a look I was going for um, I wanted to have a bigger part and a skinnier braid to give it a more natural look Right here I am showing you guys how I part for my knotless braids because I did have some requests for that. So what I do is I part the hair into three sections. You have the back section which I am on right now and then you have the top left and then the top right. So I'll go over the section, do like a rough draft and then I'll go back over it with shiny jam to clean up the part. And this is how I part my knotless braids from ear to ear. Then what I do is I connect the top right section to the back. And I make sure I get that line straight to match the middle part. And then I'll connect the left section to the back as well. And that's how I part from ear to ear. And that's how I get my uh, parts even on both sides. I think this method is very beginner friendly. It is easy and I feel like anybody could do it. Just practice, practice, practice. Understand that practice makes improvement. And I enjoy doing this method to get nice, straight parts from ear to ear. So I slowed this clip down. So initially when I do my knotless braids, I add hair in immediately. But for this style, because I was trying to give it more of a natural look, I decided to braid it down a few times and then add hair versus adding hair immediately at the beginning and I just add small pieces in and I keep adding until I get the thickness or the right size braid that I'm looking for and then I go from there um, right now I am braiding overhand but then I'm going to switch to underhand in just a moment and I've been uh, I've been I've been liking underhand braiding I'm actually getting better at it uh, I'm trying to teach myself to start out underhanding. See, I just switched it right there. I'm trying to teach myself to do underhand braiding all the way throughout versus starting overhand and then switching. But I just have a bad habit of doing it that way. But I'm trying to get out of that.
y'all check out my hair serum at foryouhaircollection.com it is amazing it smells amazing and it feels amazing on the scalp go by my website and grab you a bottle or two i would greatly appreciate it so i'm just oiling her scalp we are about to dip the ends add the finishing touches like the mousse and the spray after that is done i am now adding the beads to her hair again we're only doing about three beads per her request and then yeah you will see the finished look here is the finished look my girl every time I do her hair this is what she does y'all it's it is so funny like she be feeling herself and I absolutely love it like it's giving natural it's giving this is my hair and it's coming out of my scalp and y'all gonna love it so thanks again for tuning in and watching please share like this video comment and I'll see y'all next time